everyone, but I'm here again, and today we are opening the brand new Legendary Duelist's Mortal Destiny Booster Box. So, this is a box that, um, well, let's say not a lot of people competitively wanted this, but a lot of people who are fans of the show, O's, I guess? Because it's multiple different uh, series together, but anyways, uh, people who are fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! are actually pretty interested in this one. Uh, and it does have some interesting cards overall, but not too much on the reprint. Anyways, long story short, this set has support for the uh, Destiny board. So the, um, I guess, in, in Japanese it's Death. I think it's Final in English, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Uh, but yeah, we have some Bakura support, basically. Uh, but we also have some Predaplant, some Evil Heroes, which is something that a lot of people are looking forward to. We also have... Um, what else do we have here? I, I do remember it being more than just those two things. Oh, right, Gimmick Puppets. Uh, I do know a lot of people enjoy those. I am not a big fan of them because I was not playing when they came out. It uh, doesn't mean I won't enjoy them now, but, you know, I'm mostly here because I like this guy's theme. I'm probably never going to play these cards, but I like the theme of this guy, and um, I do like evil heroes. And those are what are the most expensive cards in this set. Uh, there is a big fusion monster, ultra rare, that uh, is worth more than 50 bucks. I know it's at the moment... Uh, one of the local stores, the one I got this at, actually, is selling it for, like, over $70 Canadian, which is insane. Uh, it's not going to see much competitive play, but whatever. Oh, right, and there are the uh, reprints of the um, Moon and uh, Sun Dragons from the 5Ds era. That was also something I really enjoyed when I was a kid. We have a Junk Puppet and Earthbound Immortal Kapakapu. Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. It's sad to see it as a rare, but you know, we'll take what we can. There are new Earthbound cards, not just reprints. So, you know, from 5Ds, they have the Dark Signer ish uh, subject. So that's kind of cool. Sun Dragon, pretty cool. Predaplast, Fire, and Predaplatting. Our first new higher than common, I believe. Eh, anyways. I enjoy the um, Predator plants because I love plant cards. I always love plant decks. But the thing is, uh, I don't like counters anymore. It's been a long time since I've loved counters. Oh, I think we have a foil. Earthbound Geoglyph. Nice, I guess. And Supreme King's Castle. Okay, we'll just go quickly over this. Uh, while any level 10 monsters are on the field... Oh, it's a field spell, okay. Uh, this card cannot be targeted or destroyed. Nice. Uh, you can treat one Synchro Monster as two tributes for a tribute summon of a Nerfbound Immortal. If a Synchro Monster is special summoned, you can add a Nerfbound Immortal spell trap from your deck to your hand. That's not bad, actually. They do have decent support, somewhat. I think they have a counter. Uh, Supreme King's Castle. You can fusion summon fusion monsters that must be special summoned with dark fusion with effects other than dark fusion. Once per turn during damage calculation, if you're fiend, blah, 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 blah. That's, it's, it's not a bad effect, um, but it is fun that you can use that field spell with polymerization and still make some evil heroes. But even more, you can use it with super polymerization and make some insane plays against some specific opponents. Malicious Edge was something that I loved collecting when I was younger. It looked like Edward Scissorhands. Just, it, it looks so much like the Johnny Depp adaptation, don't you think? Like, somewhat? With the straps and the leather and the, well, it's blades, but whatever. Anyways, Sun and Preda Prime Fusion, a fusion spell for Preda Plants. If a Preda Plant, um... Fusion 7, one dark fusion monster, uh, using monsters from either field, including at least two or more dark monsters you control. So it's two or more dark monsters you control, at minimum. So that's kind of harsh, but there's I think there's a way to deal with that using the uh, counters, making them some dark... Uh, oh, we have a new gimmick puppet. Uh, some dark monsters, I believe, something like that. Anyways, there's, there's a way to deal with it. Gimmick, Predap, Predap, Dark, and Earthbound Immortal. The ultimate Earthbound Immortal. 
Okay, so, uh, yeah. We're off to a pretty normal start, let's be honest here. That needs to be an Ultra, I believe. If I remember correct. Ooh, nice! It is not a very valuable card, but it is a sought-after card because of Baccarat. Uh, Dark Spirits Mastery, and we have Evil- Oh, okay, we'll just go over this one first. Discard one card and one Nestiny board or one level 8 Fiend Monster from your deck to your- or graveyard to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard, except the turn was sent there. Place any number of Destiny board and or Spirit Message cards with different names from your hand or graveyard on the bottom of the deck in any order, then draw the same number of cards. This is good to make a comeback in a deck where when your opponent blew up your back row, you were done. So very glad to see this. And it's also a way to unbreak your hand and use your um, F to special summon the INAL. It's our first Ultra, we'll take it. I think it's worth more than $10, that's for sh sure. But I'm not sure about the rest. Evil Mind is something I love, though. I think it's a $3 common at the moment. Probably gonna stay at one or two at least. Uh, if you control a fiend type monster, activate one of these effects based on the number of monsters in your opponent's graveyard. So you usually play this going second, or you find a way to make your opponent waste a hand trap. Uh, anyways, 1 plus, you draw a card. 4 plus, you add a hero monster or one dark fusion from your deck to your hand. And 10 plus, you can add a polymerization spell or fusion spell from your deck to your hand. I mean, how insane is that? If you're going second nowadays, usually your opponent will have at least four cards in their, uh, four monsters in their graveyard if they went into uh, any kind of combo. So, you know, drawing a card and adding a hero is a big plus. Like, you played at least two or three of these in any evil hero deck. That's for sure. And it's a rare, so that's kind of good for, you know, people who want to play that. Gimmick, Diamond, Diabound Colonel, and Dark Spirit of Banishment. That is a nice print. And Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. We just got this as a super. Anyways, Dark Spirit of Banishment for our Baccarat deck. I like the artwork. It reminds me of the old school Yu-Gi-Oh. When I was young and everything was so evil. Evil. Anyways, if your opponent's monster attacks... Uh, at the start of the damage step, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target a level 8 fiend monster in your graveyard, special submit it, but no effects. And if you do, change the attack target to it. Okay. That's not a bad card. If a level 8 fiend monster is sent uh, to your graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. But, oh, okay, so you discard it, protect yourself, and hopefully it will protect you a lot. But then if it's sent to the graveyard, you get to recycle and redo. Just only once per turn, but still, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, I wouldn't play it much, but it is a level 3 Fiend, so there is synergy with, um, well, I guess, Tour Guide and Rhino, I guess. Anyways, Die Bound and Perform Puppet. So, I don't spend a lot of time on the... Uh, the uh, puppets. I am very sorry for fans of the puppets out there. Very sorry. Puppet Parade, Pritoplast, and Dark Sanctuary, which is not a new card. I believe this was in the, um, what you call it, the uh, Duelist Saga, was it? I think it was. Gimmick Puppet, Puppet, uh, Malicious, Askatol, and Kapakapu. Is that the only Earthbound, the original, the only original Earthbound reprinted? Would have been... Cool to see Asla Pisco. Oh, Infernal Gainer. I remember loving the artwork on this card. Moon and Earthbound Immortal, the ultimate one. So we have two supers and one ultra on the right side, and we have a few packs left. Then we'll go to the left side. Uh, I think I'll have to go a little faster now, but... Oh, Gimmick Puppet, Bisque Doll, and Perform Puppet. So we have a third super. Uh, you can special summon this card by discarding one gimmick puppet. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Your opponent cannot target gimmick puppet monsters. You control with card effects this turn. I mean, you could probably spam a lot of dark summons using this and other gimmick puppets. I don't know enough about them. I do know that this is decent in the evil hero deck, but Biscuit Doll does sound like a very good card. At least you get some bodies on the field, and I mean, some stuff ends in the graveyard, so that's also pretty good. And uh, I do know they use a lot of high levels, so that's probably pretty good for them as well. Ooh, another Ultra! 
Prita Practice. Special summon a Prita Plant monster from your hand, then add one Prita card from your deck to your hand, except Prita Practice. Also, for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you get a special summon monsters from the extra deck, except fusion monsters. I actually like this card a lot. And we have another Terror Baby, but I think this has a lot of potential in one of my stupid decks that I used to play. Wow. I might actually look into this, but is... Um, wait, I, I know Scorpio, you need to s normal summon it to s get your effect to discard, or does special summon it work as well? Even then, uh, it's still good to, you know, unload the... Wow, Zoma was in there? Anyways, uh, Preta Prime Fusion again. It's good to unload the Darlington Cobra using uh, Preta Practice. At least you don't waste a normal summon to get it on board. But does that still trigger the effect of searching? I don't remember enough. It's been so long since I've played my Preta Plants. Yes, I actually did try them out at some point. In an, uh, a plant deck, not as a pure deck. Evil Mind! Nice, second one. Now we only need to pull some good foils for he evil heroes. That would be the next part. Dark Spirit of Malice to go with our Banishment. Oh, this is nice. And a Dark Sanctuary. Wow, four supers and two ultras on the side? If that repeats itself on the other side, that's blessed. Oh, I like the artwork on these. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the grave, then uh, a special send a level 8 fiend, negate the effect. If a level 8 fiend monster is sent to your graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. So it's like the other one, but instead of attacks, it's spells and traps. Or... Effects in general. That's kind of cool. This is better than the other one. But you have to find a way to send some level 8 fiends in the graveyard. I don't remember every level 8 fiends. But I do know that this is a level 8 fiend. But it must first be special summon from your hand by banishing 3 fiends. So I don't think this is something you want to send before using those. But rather summon before using those. Which means you need to have 3 fiends in your grave. Which is not great, but there is a retrain of this thing um, as an ultra, and if we pull that, we can see if it is summonable this time. And we have a foil Preta Plant. That's better than nothing. We have Preta Plant Trifo Verutum. Try for three heads. So yeah, three. Three dark monsters on the field. So the new spell that Fusion summons using your opponent's dark monsters. Kind of cool if you have two already on your field. And, uh, wait, does it? Yeah, it has fusion in its name. So you could search this using your Cobra. Special, oh, wait, summon um, Scorpio, then special summon Cobra, search that, and you can just seal your opponent's dark monster without having to tribute uh, compared to using Super Poly. And it's a lot more budget. Anyways, uh, when your opponent... Uh, gains attack equal to the total original attack of all monsters on the field with predator counters. <laughs> Psych. Uh, when your opponent special summons a monster from your extra deck, while you control this fusion summon card, you can negate the summon. And it's uh, not once per turn, guys. Wow. Uh, if your opponent controls a monster with a predator counter, uh, you can special summon this card from your graveyard in defense position. Neat. Actually, this is pretty good. If you get it on board appropriately, Pretty darn good. I might actually try to find a way to use it to my advantage. Might. Ooh, we have another ultra. Askator, Don Walker. That is nice. It's a retrain of the uh, Fire Ant Askator. Uh, you can discard a card, special summon this. That's nice. It's a level 5. Spellcaster. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, in defense position, then you can special summon a Fire Ant Askator from your hand or deck. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck at the turn you activate this effect except synchro monsters. That's nice. Wait, Fire Ant is... Fire Ant is a tuner, right? Is it in here? Was it in here? I remember seeing it earlier. That and Supe. Supe is here, but it's the Fire Ant that we're looking at. Wait, that's a level 6? Fire Ant is... Okay, Fire Ant is a level 3 tuner, so that makes free level 8s for the Fire dragon thing obviously but you could probably use this in a lot of different decks and get some uh, red dragon archfiend synchros or 
Um, you can use it to spam, uh, well, all the good level 8s. <laughs> Let's be honest, guys, there are a lot of good level 8s. There's the uh, Omega, there's... Um, well, there's there's the one variant of Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, wait, the okay, they're both Earth, so you can't make um, Beelze with that, right? Beelze is Dark Tuner. Nah, that won't work. Sadly, it will not work. Womp womp. Anyways, uh, let's speed things up a tad. Sorry for taking so much time. Junk Puppet! Oh no! Special Simon, a gimmick puppet from your grave. That's kind of very good. Doom Caliber Knight. Hey, our third evil mind. Nice. Now, if only we could get the ultra rare fusion monster for evil heroes, that would be insane. Oracle of the Sun! That's nice. If your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon it. That's nice. Earthbound. Oh, right. This guy was also reprinted in here, but not as a rare, which is kind of sad. But those are the only two I've seen. There's no, um, there aren't any of the whale or any of the, uh, Astapiscus. Not even the monkey. The monkey wasn't even good. But the whale and the piscu were the decent ones, if I remember correctly. And we have a super rare doll. Gigantis doll. Two level four gimmick puppet monsters. Uh, you can attach two materials, target two monsters on your opponent controls, and gain control of them until the end phase. But you cannot special summon monsters except gimmick puppets, nor declare an attack except with exceeds. Well, that sucks. I guess. I mean, depends on what you can do with the uh, monsters you stole. But if they are high level or they don't have a level at all, you can't even link summon with them. Kind of sucks. Protoplasts. Zoma and Supreme King's Castle. The packs are getting fewer. Supe. Ooh, Supe Dunes Walker. Sadly, though, that probably cuts our chances at getting anything bigger as Ultra because we have our four Ultras already. Maybe we'll get very, very lucky, but I, I, I highly doubt that. Still, four ultras is something I will take anytime. Uh, you can discard one card, special summon this card, and special summon a supe from your hand or deck. You cannot special summon monsters except synchros during that turn. That's a level five. And supe is a level one, so that makes seven. Isn't it? Uh, no, wait, it makes six. Why am I so dumb today? Why am I so dumb, guys? I had a brain fart. Pardon me. But that's kind of cool though. I like that they discard a card, special summon themselves, and you get something from your deck. I mean, you can use that with um, a lot of things. Oh, we have a double foil. Wow. O originality. But anyways, I mean, you can use those with dangers, and that's kind of cool. I mean, you get a danger effect as well as a decent synchro, and dangers don't use the extra monster zone. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oracle of the Sun. And I mean, if you're really into discarding stuff, you can also use other cards. Oh, we actually have a fifth Ultra? What? But it's not a great one, but it still is one. Earthbound Greater Line Walker! Or the Aztec guy, or the Maya guy. I don't know. If you control a synchro monster or monsters and have a synchro monster or monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, during the main phase, your main phase, you can add one earthbound immortal monster from your deck to, or graveyard to your hand. Uh, if one is normal summon while this card is on the field, you can make your opponent's life points 3,000. That's not bad. But it has so many conditions to work. You need to have two synchros involved and you need to have uh, an earthbound in your grave, which is just not happening well or in your deck but i mean you have to summon one which is not happening why would it happen that's just way too situational at least it looks good but i mean it's not good and we have oh we have a new preda plant with a lot of stars what the hell now, if your opponent controls a monster with a predator counter, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, if this card in its owner's position is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can target one dark dragon or one dark plant in your grave and uh, 
special summon it. And that's about that for that. Well, overall, we're not doing bad. I mean, the box didn't cost too much, so that's kind of cool. But um, overall, we're probably not going to make any money or profit at all with these cards. Even if I wanted to sell them, I don't think many people would buy them uh, at my locals or anything. But I am glad that we pulled the uh, Ascator and Supes, because those are cool. And that was the last pack, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so quick recap. Quick, quick, quick recap. Real quick, we have lots of uh, puppets, lots of predaps, lots of earthbounds, and a few evils. I mean, how many cards are we? We only have the one rare for evil heroes. Four times, which is good, but. Oh, no, right, we have the castle, which is also for evil heroes. Right. Supreme King's Castle. For, for every time I see Supreme King, I think of the uh, the new Supreme King, like um, Supreme King Gate and stuff like that. But it is true that Evil Jaden was the Supreme King. So we have four of each of these, and they are pretty d darn good, so I'm not going to complain about that. That's for sure. For our super rares, we got some pretty decent ones. Uh, we have this Preda Plant thing. We have... Uh, two of the gimmick uh, puppet. We have one of the exceeds. We have these two, which are just gorgeous artwork. We have the Predator Plant, which is actually probably one of the best supers. And we have the Earthbound Geoglyph, which is something, at least, I guess. Yeah, it's something. And for our Ultras, we got blessed with five out of 36 packs. Honestly, five of these plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 13. That is one more foil than uh, the usual ratio of one per three packs. So that's good. We did better than the odds. Anyways, uh, Earthbound, Supe, Ascator. Actually, pretty glad about those two. They look beautiful. Look at the artwork on those. Beautiful. We also have Preta Practice and Dark Spirits Mastery. So yeah, overall, not the best box, but not the worst, that's for sure. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vid. I know I did. And until next time, guys, it has been a pleasure. And Panem, out. Yeah.